Welcome to our demonstration of the new Adaptive Book interface. As you can see when you open the Adaptive Book, it brings you to a My Books selection area. From this area you can choose to visit one of your books. In this case we have Algebra 101, Physics, Intro to Programming. And as you can see, Algebra 101 has been selected. So over here it displays some information about the course, the course number, the professor, professor's contact information. It also lists important announcements the, the professor has posted. You can also see here that it ties in with our collaborative system, showing new notes that have been posted recently. In this case, Samantha Coe has posted what is a list and help on lists. So if I want to choose the algebra book, I simply click on it and the adaptive book interface opens. You now see linear equations is being presented to me. This is the chapter 4 of the textbook for Algebra 101. Now looking around the interface, we can see a couple interesting features. We can see that we have the content located here as well as some tabs that provide navigation information located on the side. The top contains information used for displaying annotations or as we call them notes. We can open up the personal notebook, our buddy notebook, our class notebook, or a staff notebook which contains postings from the professor as well as any TAs in the class. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and move to the second page of content using the navigation features located at the bottom. Now as you can see I'm in the middle of the book because our book here only has three pages. We could, also, we could always enter a page in this text field and jump directly to it, or we could simply slide the slider to the appropriate page. If we look at this page, we can turn on various features that provide us with collaborative information about it. For example, if I cl click the Professor tab, you can see that there are very hi various highlights and Professor Notes that appear in the Professor Notes column. If I were to click one of these notes, you can see that it opens a discussion below. This is basically a forum discussion, and it begins with the professor, Ted, having posted a note to ensure that students go over this particular concept, in this case, writing expressions. We can see that various other people, such as Samantha Coe, Jenny Kratival, and Chris Drackett, have posted some information. If I wanted to post a new message, I would simply go to Post New, and every student in the class, as well as the professor, could see that I have a question or concern about the professor's note. You can, always, you can also turn on the buddy list, as well as the class list. These provide more notes, in this case, notes from your buddies, or a group of people you have specifically selected that you want to work with, or view their notes because you know them, or you believe they have some sort of particular importance to you. And as w you can also see the notes that people in the class have posted in general. If I were to click on any of the navigation tabs, they open. And this section allows us to navigate through the book. The table of contents allows us to navigate through the book in the traditional way. These are all links. If I were to click on Chapter 4, it would take me to the start of Chapter 4. Or I could browse any of the various sections contained in our three sample pages here. These tabs also contain an area that allows the instructor to assign readings. This basically allows the constructor, the instructor to make a tour of various pages that they believe are important about a particular topic. For example, the first instructor assigned reading is writing expressions and undoing operators, which is the current page. If I were to click on various uh, any of these links, then they would take me to the appropriate section that the instructor has asked me to read. We can also make bookmarks in the adaptive book by clicking on the bookmark tool here. If I click this bookmark tool, you can see that it becomes visible, indicating that I've bookmarked this page. This also creates a corresponding entry in the bookmark section, which allows me to revisit this page at a later time if I want to. This section also contains an area for study sheets. We can see here that we're allowed to search through our study sheets as well as view the various study sheets that we have created. Study sheets are created by going to Tools or View, choosing Panel, and opening up the Review Sheet panel. However, in this case, our demo allows this functionality directly from the Help menu. As you can see here, this basically offers us a new window, which is very similar to a window created in any kind of word processing document, such as Microsoft Word. For example, I can now type information about the book. I can drag information from the book to this section. I can also format this information as appropriate, adding bullets, 
bolding the text, etc., etc. The last interesting navigation tab is the search tab. The search tab allows us to search through the text of the book as well as the text in the study sheets and annotations. If I were to enter an item here and search for it, it would produce both relevant sections, which are sections that have been flagged as being related to this topic, as well as all instances of this word or words appearing in the text. In this case, we can see that there are six entries in the textbook itself, two located in discussion notes, and two located in review sheets. If I navigate to the third page, we can see some more information about how to work through with discussion notes. For example, if I click on this buddy note here, we can see another discussion that appears. And I will demonstrate that I could post a new topic on this issue. So if I click Post New, a new section appears which allows me to post text. I could type in my reply here. And after it's posted, all students in the class that are on my buddy list, because this is a buddy note, will be able to see it. <coughs> Another important feature of the adaptive book is the use of contextual items to allow students to choose tools. For example, instead of having a student choose a highlight tool or a note tool, we simply have students highlight the section and the tools instantly become available. For example, in this case, after we've highlighted this section, we can either choose to simply highlight it or create a note with this accompanying highlight. I'm going to click on the Note tool so we can create a note here. Once I've clicked on the Note tool, we see that there are three possible choices for the note to be placed in. The note can be a personal note, otherwise viewable only to me, a buddy note, which is viewable only by people I have selected to be in my buddy list, or by the whole class. I'm going to create a personal note just to start off. Now if I were to click on this note, I can edit it, and after I've edited it, I can choose to move it to my buddy list if I want them to now see it. As you can see, it becomes blue, indicating that it's now a buddy note placed in the buddy notes column. Suppose I would you know, posted a discussion about some question I have in the text. I can now share it with my buddies. If my buddies aren't able to produce an answer that's satisfactory to me, I can always move it to the class notes section and it will become visible to the class at large. If, possibly after having gotten some useful feedback from the class, I discovered that I want someone who's in the class to be in my buddy list so I can view their discussions more readily, I can simply click and drag them from the class discussion to my buddy list. Now Samantha Coe is a member of my buddies. As you can see, the adaptive book offers a variety of tools and features. The goal here is to highlight the strengths of the adaptive book as an ebook viewer while at the same time adding collaborative elements which allow a new kind of classroom atmosphere to emerge. Students need not post directly to a forum but can now post to a forum of the text where the text is shared in a meaningful way between students. This concludes the demonstration.